Hello guys, Mitch Stark here again for Cricket Australia TV. We've got a lovely backdrop behind us here in the middle of London. Uh, we're doing a little media stunt here for Cricket Australia and we're kind enough to be welcomed with Jimmy Faulkner who's kindly stepped out of his, his apartment back behind us here. Mm. Jimmy, we're out in your, your front garden here on a, a nicely, uh, I see you've done some nice things on a little barge here. Yeah, it's nice isn't it? It's a nice little apartment up there. I've been there for a week so far and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> Now, we're here in, here in London, obviously, for, for the Ashes now. Just promoting the, the Australian cricket family to obviously get in and join that, and you can, uh, I guess, you get early, early exposure to the, to the Ashes tickets. So, um, you know, a nice little stun here, and I saw you taking a few catches, and, and you know, you bowled me a few in-swingers and out-swingers. So, um, nice yeah, to have us on your front lawn, though. We've uh, gone through the Champions Trophy, not the results we're after, but um, you quite well personally with uh, some wickets and some good runs. How did you feel through the tournament, and uh, I guess how, how the team went? Yeah, look, I suppose as a team we didn't obviously go as far as what we would have liked, but um, yeah, look, I think we gelled pretty well as a group and now the focus is purely on the Ashes and uh, trying to bring them home. Now, you've been coming off some good form, obviously, uh, over in the IPL for Rajasthan. Uh, I think you were the second highest wicket taker, am I right? Yeah, second apparently, yeah. Second? Yep. Ball was coming out there nicely and uh, you know, really making a, a big name for yourself in the 2020 game. How are you feeling with the white ball? Yeah, look, I really enjoyed IPL uh, this season. Um, in seasons before that, I wasn't really getting much of a go, but this year uh, they gave me a good opportunity at the Royals and uh, to play pretty much all the games, and I uh, did reasonably well, and we did well as a team. That was the main thing. So I learned a lot playing over there in the subcontinent um, in the short form of the game, so um, hopefully I can bring that to international cricket now. Sounds good, and you obviously carried some form in that Champions Trophy, but we're here for the main event now. We're here for the Ashes, uh, your first test tour. Uh, your first time in London maybe, but uh, how are you feeling about this, this test series and uh, I guess the preparation we've got now leading into that first test at Trent Bridge? Yeah, it is actually my first trip to London uh, and first trip to the UK. So, so far I think the preparation has been pretty good. Uh, it was the first hit out today with a red ball for, for myself, especially with the Duke ball, um, which was good fun. And hopefully the next few days uh, I'll learn a lot, I suppose, in the nets and I can, I can bring that to the practice games before the first test. Sounds good. And uh, is there a venue, I guess, over this test series that you're, you're really looking forward to, to seeing and, and hopefully playing it? Yeah, the Oval the other day for the one day was obviously a great thrill to play there. But um, I think Lords, everyone wants to play at Lords or, or see Lords. So I'm looking forward to that during the second test, whether, whether I'm playing or not. But uh, it's going to be a big test match. More so the ground or, or the Lords lunch, you reckon? I do, like, <laughs> I do like my lunch, so I've got to be careful there. Uh, I'm sure Bales will be all over me. But uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to, I suppose, just being a part of the, the dressing room there in Lords and uh, I suppose the history and the culture it's, the ground's had for a long time now is going to be good fun. Well, we've got two warm games uh, before that first test. Obviously, uh, we've, we're playing against Somerset and then against Worcester. Uh, you're looking forward to those two warm-up games, a, a bit of Red Bull time and a bit of match cricket before the, the Ashes starts? Yeah, definitely. I think everyone's looking forward to a bit of Red Bull now. It's, it's been a little while, but uh, I'm sure only a few net sessions and a, a warm-up game, all the boys will be fine, ready to go. So everyone's excited and looking forward to it. Beautiful. Now, I guess here in London, uh, there's probably a few, a few things to do and we've had a couple of days off. What did you do with your time and uh, did you see some of the sites that uh, London's got to offer? I did actually, I was here not long ago, I think it was two days ago, Xavier Doldy took me around after we uh, unfortunately got knocked out of the tournament, the Champions Trophy, but uh, he took me around and I saw a few different things which was good, I uh, saw Buckingham Palace, came down here, saw the, uh, I should remember this, the big clock, and, uh, big ben. A big, big ben and the, the eye as well, so it was, uh, it was a good day um, and yeah, it was, it was good fun. Good to see you getting out and about, Jim. Well, thanks for joining us. Cheers. Appreciate you your time. Much. Cheers. So if uh, you tune into www.cricket.com.au, you can follow all the progress from our warm-up games and our leading into that first test at Trent Bridge. And I'm sure Jimmy here will play a big part of the Ashes and we look forward to the contest. So tune in. And until next time, Mitch Stark signing off. Thanks, Jim.